Shout out to Steve Saka. Brother, I have never had one of your cigars before. But that all changes today. Because I'm smoking your original. Sober Mesa Brulee. All right, cigar here. Now we What's going down, Cigar Head Crew? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, as you can see, it is morning time in my neighborhood. Shout out to Uncle Lee, man. And I know y'all see the cowboy sign right there behind me. Now, before all the haters get to hating, all right, I understand we lost Sunday. We lost against the Seahawks. That's cool, but we still got a whole lot of season left, baby. So don't count them boys out. Remember that sign. All right, Cigar Head Crew. Now, today I will be experiencing for the first time a Steve Saka cigar. I have been wanting to try a Steve Saka cigar for the longest time, but I never got a chance to get around to getting one. Plus, a lot of brick and mortars around here did not have them at the time. So, I finally got a chance to get one. Shout out to Black Lion Luxury Cigar of the Month Club because that's what that's what was in the month of september's box now let's go ahead and take a good look at this cigar very nice looking cigar man very very nice looking it's the ecuadorian wrapper very nice looking wrapper i love the bands on there it just i don't know i like it and um i like the foot band on there because it has that i like the handwriting that's on there too the sober mesa but you know looks can be deceiving so we're going to see if I like this cigar, man. So we're about to get right into it. Now, look on my little paper here that I have. This cigar, this cigar is a 6x52, which that means that this cigar is a Toro. The uh, wrapper is Ecuadorian, like I said earlier. Uh, binder is, Mex is from Mexico, and the filler is Nicaraguan. And the MSRP on this cigar is $13.45. You know, every time I smell an Ecuadorian wrapped cigar, it smells like um, it smells like sweet grass to me, like a sugary, like a sugary grass. And off the foot of the wrapper, it smells just like a a, a grassy sweet tobacco. All right, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. Y'all hang up. The wrapper is kind of sweet, just a, like a little bit. Not, not. It's not really, really sweet. But on the cold draw, you just get tobacco. Yeah, strong tobacco. That's all you get. All right. Without further ado, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Okay. I'm not really getting anything right now. Immediately from light up. It tastes a little bit of sugar and a little bit of pepper on the retro hill. Not really much to say about it right now. So, all right, we're going to get into this first third. And if I have anything, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, cigar head crew. Now, this is a very delicious cigar right now. Like, it's the flavors are really, really nice. You still get some sugar. You get a little bit of a uh, little bit of hay, 
little creaminess actually a lot of creaminess this is a very creamy cigar and on the retro hell is smooth with a slight bit of pepper not too you know it's not too harsh it's not it's not a mike tyson right hook to the nose or a floor mayweather jab to the nose but um only issue that i have with it right now is the burn and it was like it's i i, I was really really debating on on touching it up but i'm not going to touch it up i'm gonna see what it does i'm gonna see what it does so all right guys i'm gonna smoke this down some more and if i have anything else i'll be back y'all hang on all right cigar here crew now we are back with the steve soccer sober mesa brulee in toro uh <clears throat> excuse me i really forgot to come back because I've been enjoying the cigar so much. In the first third, I really wasn't enjoying it as much. But now the flavors have become very complex. Still, the flavors are, are medium to full, but it goes so well with the coffee that I'm drinking. Great cigar. Great cigar, man. Retro Hell is still smooth. You still get that little bit of pepper. Also, when I mean complex flavors, the flavors i'm starting to get some cinnamon starting to get some woodiness you get some sugar get some get a look get, it's very creamy this cigar is so creamy and it's really delicious with the coffee i'm going like that i'm drinking with it um you also get some um get some grass in this like some like like some hay in there and it is a very complex cigar i'm really enjoying this cigar so i'm gonna finish smoking this bad boy down and i'll come back in the, in the final third all right, Cigarhead Crew, now we, we have reached the final third of this cigar. Still the same flavor notes that I, would get, that I was getting earlier. Um, let me show you. Good construction, but um, I was very impressed because the burn, it caught up with itself in the second third. But now it's starting to go back a little wonky. So overall, it's a pretty good cigar, man. I really love the complexity with the cigar. All the flavor notes that I, that I get in this cigar very delicious cigar man i really enjoyed it um steve soccer other than the burn you got a pretty good cigar brother so y'all already know what i'm about to say this cigar has been officially cigar head certified uh, even though the burn wasn't all that good but still a pretty good cigar as far as flavor notes and strengths the retro hell, smooth retro hell. Still get that pepper, but everything really, really went good with the pairing with the coffee. This is a great morning time cigar. So if you guys enjoy the flavor notes that I described in this in this cigar, give it a shot. This is the Sober Mesa Blue Brulee in Toro. Love this cigar. Steve Saka, shout out to your brother. Shout out to Black Lion Luxuries and Ron Real TV. Thank you guys for sending this in. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.